What's up everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie and today we're going to be talking about a Goulet pen exclusive, the Montegrappa Elmo in Violet. So um, a member of the media team named Margaret reached out to me to see if I would be interested in reviewing this pen. Uh, they did not pay me in any way, shape or form. Um, so the opinions expressed in this video are my own. Um, they did send the pen to me free of cost. Um, but I'm not, like I said, I'm not being paid or anything. They haven't told me what to say, nothing. So I said yes, clearly. <laughs> and this is what arrived. Uh, so it arrived in this silver box here. Just a little cardboard sleeve, hello. <laughs> oh, I'm such a nerd. And then it kind of opens up clam shell style. Um, the pen arrived in this little bag here that has the Montegrappa logo uh, in this little sleeve here. It's got the standard cartridges that pretty much every cartridge converter pen comes with. Uh, and then underneath the little satin pillow here is, if I can get this guy out, uh, just an information booklet. Um, it tells you a little bit more about the Elmo pen, um, how to fill it, how to you know take care of it, all that kind of stuff. Um, so information and booklet in there. So nothing too fancy. Personally, I prefer less to no packaging. Uh, you know, like I don't wanna pay for any fancy packaging. All I want is the pen. So I appreciate the fact that there's nothing super duper fancy about this. Uh, the box does say Montegrappa on the side, of course has the regular barcode, um, which you can peel off as, as a sticker if you want to. I don't know why you would, but personally, I don't like very fancy packaging. I think this is nice enough uh, to give as a gift for somebody if you want to, but nothing too fancy that you know, you're paying for the packaging rather than the pen. And then of course the pen itself, um, which I'm just noticing now, holy smokes, the cap is actually slightly see-through. You guys are not gonna be able to see this on camera. Uh, and I'm just noticing it now as I'm filming. Um, I have windows uh, to, to my right um, that is reflecting on the light here. And I can actually see the nib and the feed inside. That is so cool. I did not notice that ever. I guess the light just has to hit it just so. Huh. Well, what a discovery together. <laughs> um, so this pen here, the Elmo pen. No, it is not <laughs> Elmo as in like tickle me Elmo. Um, I will say that was my first thought also, um, but it's definitely not. Um, the pen itself is, is really cool actually. It feels really good. It's super slick, uh, super smooth, but not like you're going to drop it, you know, slick. Um, the, it's a kind of like a traditional cigar shaped pen. Uh, the clip, I like the facet, uh, on the, the clip, the rollerball. I'm not a fan of rollerball clips only because they never work. <laughs> like when you put it over jeans or whatever, I guess it does, but you can't actually roll it until like you lift the, the clip off of the pen and it's it's a pretty tension filled clip it, it's it's you need a little bit of effort to do it um and then the only branding on the pen itself uh is towards the bottom of the cap that of course just says Monte Grappa. um i like the way that it's etched in there uh with the the silver inlay that's really really nice to me i much prefer silver um finishes over gold um and then you get that silver band um, that is actually on the pen body, um, but it sort of separates the clip and the body itself. Um, and then there's really nothing much going on with the body. Slight taper. The material is so cool. It like, you can stare at it forever. Um, it almost looks like, um, I'm going to be aging myself a little bit here, but like a lava lamp um, in the sense that like you've got some really deep, deep purple resin um, that sort of like seems like it's sunken into the more shiny chatoyant resin um, that seems like it's kind of floating all around it. It's really cool and the more that you look at it, the more I really like it, the more that you pick out some details um, that you may have missed before, like the cap being slightly see-through. 
um, and I'm really impressed by it. I will fully admit I wasn't super jazzed about the color. This color is um, a Goulet exclusive. You can get the pen body um, at other retailers, but the, the color is exclusive to Goulet pens. Um, and I will totally admit I wasn't super duper jazzed about it, but the longer I look at it, the more it's here, I'm actually starting to really like it. Um, it seemed like too light for me. I'm not usually a purple fan, but again, the more you look at it, the deeper and like the, the farther you kind of get drawn into that. Um, and then when you uncap it, it does take a bit of effort. Um, so there's one, two, two and a half turns roughly um, to get it uncapped, um, in which case <clears throat> it sits really nicely in my hand. Um, there's a special feature that I did not know about in this pen that I'm going to mention in a moment, but it feels really good. It's got a good amount of weight. Uh, you can post it if you choose to. Um, for those that know me, I don't, um, but it doesn't feel that back weighted with this on it. And I'll tell you why in a moment. Um, so I really, really like the way that that feels. The threads are killer. Oh my God. I love it. They're so smooth and like polished that you would never know they're there because like my thumb definitely sits on those threads my thumb sits farther back on the pen regardless of what pen it is it always sits farther back and I do really really enjoy that there is a bit of a step uh, where that metal ring is so that way when it's flush like when the cap is fully closed um, it's the cap is flush with the body uh, but it doesn't bother me really at all I don't think it'll bother many people um, I, I quite enjoy that and then you have a steel nib uh, with a plastic feed. Um, I chose to get a broad nib, which I know is going to blow most of you away because I usually get fines or mediums. Um, but I felt like being a bit different. And I thought, you know what? It's coming from Goulet pens, an homage to, uh, to Rachel Goulet, who likes broad nibs. I'm going to get a broad. Um, so it has a steel nib, wonderful design on the nib. It's very... Um, uh, it's like Monte Grappa's uh, main nib design. And then it is a cartridge converter fountain pen. Um, you're given the cartridge with it, uh, or sorry, the converter with it. Um, and it does say Monte Grappa around uh, the metal edge here. And then the coolest thing, the coolest thing with this pen that I had no idea about, um, when I'm sent a pen for review, I don't like to research it very much until I physically have it in my hand. I use it, see what I think about it, and then I'll go in and look. There's a metal insert in this body. <laughs> I had no idea. The metal insert goes to about here on the actual body, which is why you cannot eyedrop or convert it. But I love the fact that it's there. Oh my gosh, because it adds the perfect amount of weight. Resin pens, plastic pens, things like that, they tend to be very light. Um, to the fact that you could like, you know, just throw it away and you'd never, you'd never find it again. It'll just fly off into the sunset. But this pen with that metal insert gives it such a great weight, which is why also when you post it, it doesn't feel back weighted at all because this is just resin. It's so light. This with the metal insert has all the weight. So you, you, it makes almost no difference to me. And I'm very sensitive to the weight when uh, you put that there. So I don't ever post my pens, so I really notice a difference. And with this, I don't. It's so cool. I just, oh man, that just blew me away. Um, and because of that metal insert too, it makes the pen a little bit heavier so that you have to put less pressure on the nib to actually write. Um, and it writes, it's perfectly tuned. It writes on its own. Um, you know, you could hold it up like this, drag it across the paper and it will perform beautifully. Um, so that was a really, really nice surprise. One that I was very pleased by um, for, for going in. And I, again, I will fully admit I had medium expectations with this pen um, and it kind of blew me away. I'm very impressed. I think that this is a very underrated pen. Um, one that even I myself have, have looked over many, many times. You know, I've seen publications about it and it just nothing immediately grabbed my attention you know it wasn't it's not a pen that you look at and you're like I must have this you know something like the the flashy Viscontis and things like that um you know like it really grabs your attention this did not 
But oh man, I think that this is a sleeper pen. I think that this is one that's going to stay under the radar until one day it doesn't. And then everybody is going to be talking about it. Um, I think that it's a really good size. Um, it's not too big, not too small. Uh, it's bigger than like a Platinum 3776, for example, but it's not like an oversized pen, which I personally like. I don't typically like oversized pens. There are a few exceptions, but for the most part, yeah. I don't remember the exact cost off the top of my head, so I'll put it, put it at the bottom here. Um, from what I remember, it's not super duper cheap, but I feel like there's so many extras with this pen that, again, are underrated, like that inner metal uh, piece under the plastic. Um, the fact that the nib writes like a dream, um, you know, you get that branded uh, converter, which some people are going to be like, eh, about. I personally like it because I have so many converters. It's nice to know which one goes with which. Um, the detailing around the Monte Grappa logo, um, it feels really nice. Uh, capping and uncapping because those threads are so smooth. They have been perfectly uh, tuned and, and attended to. Um, yeah, I think that there's so many hidden features to this pen um, that I think that it, it does start to make the price a little bit worth it. Now, granted, price is price worth uh, differs for everybody, but for me, yes, I would highly recommend this pen and this color. Even I think. It, it's also another surprise. I think, like I said, it wasn't something that initially grabbed me, but the more I use it, the more I have it in my hand, the more that I stare at it, I find myself becoming entranced by it. Um, so I highly recommend it. If you don't like the color, that's cool too. Still check out their website. There are other colors that you can choose from. Um, but if you can, if you got a little extra spare coin, if you're looking for another pen, give this one a go. Take a look at it um, because dang, I'm kind of impressed. <laughs> um, never in my life have I spent 12 minutes talking about a pen before I've even gotten into the writing sample. So I'm gonna stop talking right now <laughs> and show you how it writes. All right, let's go. Okay, so once again, we have the Monte Grappa Elmo um, in violet, which is the Goulet Pen exclusive. This is a nice beefy broad nib, which uh, will come as a shock uh, to most of you who know that I typically use fines or mediums. Um, but when I had the opportunity to get this one, I thought, you know what? I don't have really any broads. Just jump on it, expand the collection. So I got a broad and holy moly, do I love the way that this writes. This feels good. Uh, reverse writing. I don't really like that. Uh, not terribly scratchy, I felt worse, but eh, it's not, not the most pleasant. Uh, as far as line variation goes, you won't really get anything. If anything, you just get a tiny bit more ink uh, on the page, but no real variation. This nib is really smooth. You do feel it on the paper, um, so you get a little bit of that feedback, but for the most part, it's pretty darn smooth. Um, never had a problem with like hard start, skipping, anything like that. It keeps up no problemo. Uh, the ink, by the way, before I forget, is uh, Mont Blanc uh, Lavender Purple. I thought this was a great combo here. Um, I really, really am impressed with this pen. Um, I've had some Monte Grappas in the past um, that I've liked a lot, but this one I like way better. It just writes so much better than anything else. Um, like I said, in the overall um, review of the pen, I really, really appreciate that there's a metal insert in this pen. I really, really appreciate it because it sits and it feels so nice in my hand. Um, I love it. It puts a little bit of weight behind it, but yet you still get the beautiful aesthetics of a resin. Um, I just, oh my gosh, it feels so good and for a broad, like, like obviously <laughs> it's like, it's nice and juicy. It is a broad nib. No problem. Um, I really, really like it. I like it more than I was expecting. Um, I went in with medium expectations um, just because of previous experiences um, with Monte Grappa. 
like like I said before, the ball's a little bit hard to, to use, but once it's off the pen, the friction uh, is gone, then it rolls no problem, so it would roll over like pens and stuff. Um, but yeah, my expectations were medium, and they were definitely exceeded um, when I got this pen in my hand. The most shocking thing, the most shocking, is just how much I love that metal insert. I was not expecting that. And because it's a little bit heavy, it adds that weight. It means that the pen is so well tuned that it pretty much writes under its own weight. Um, and I really, really like it. That was such a surprise. I'm so pleased. Um, I'm digging the color more and more. Um, typically, this is not something, this is not a color that I would choose uh, on my own. But the longer that I have it, the way that it feels, the way that it feels in my head while I'm writing, um, the chatoyants, everything, the longer that I have it, I'm really starting to come around to this color. And I would very much recommend it. Uh, big thanks again to uh, Margaret from the media team at Goulet Pens. I really, really appreciate uh, you sending me this pen to try out. Um, it blew all of my expectations out of the water, and I really think that this is such an underrated pen. Um, so, guys, I would definitely recommend it uh, if you have, you know, some spare change to uh, to pick it up and grab a new pen. Uh, What's up, everybody? Editor Carrie here. Uh, I just realized that the footage is lost for some reason. Um, thankfully, all the stuff that matters is there. Uh, pretty much all I said for the next five seconds was that I really like the pen, I really appreciate being sent it, and I would really appreciate it if you guys would check it out because I think it's really, really dope. Um, it is easily made its way into one of my top pens now. Um, so definitely check it out. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you liked it and want to see more uh, every Monday and Friday, with the occasional Q&A on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Hit the like button to let me know you really like it. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye.